I won't believe it till I see it, but it's really believing is seeing. Like you actually can't really see stuff unless you believe in it. Welcome back to another episode of the Joku Shoku, where I strip in packs and talk about an eclectic variety of things. Today, I'm gonna to be talking about this thing called Qigong. I don't know if you've heard of it, but before I talk about it, I wanna get into showing this Sweeto deck box that I got from Dueling Guard. I'm actually doing a collaboration with them in the future with some cards that are very exciting, but this is the deck box. It's super, super nice. I'm really particular about the stuff that I like to promote on my channel. That's why you don't see me do it much at all, but these are like insane. The quality is nuts. They feel amazing. I'm just like so psyched to be working with uh, these guys. They just are like really, really, really rad. So check out Dueling Guard. I'll find a link and put it in the description somewhere there. Um, but that's enough of that. Let's get into this Shrippum adventure. Qigong, have you heard of it? I've heard of it. I took a class when I was in college called Qigong because everybody's like, yo, you gotta take this class, man. So I did. And it was really cool because basically the class like explained Dragon Ball. I don't know if you all know this about me, but I was a really big Dragon Ball fan before I was ever into One Piece. And uh, I, Qigong basically explained how Dragon Ball works. And I said to the dude, I was like, yo, like you realize like this explains my whole childhood dream, right? And he was like, yeah, cool, have fun with it. So I got really into it and um, I formed a couple extra classes and really, really started practicing regularly. And then I kind of fell off it for a while, bless him. And then I got back into it recently, so I thought I'd talk about it a little bit. So if you all have ever heard of Qi, Qi is like energy, matter, and information is the way that I learned it and what they talk about when they talk about Qi. It's also called Qi or a number of other things in different languages, but it, uh, Qigong specifically is from traditional Chinese practice. It's based on the Taoist philosophies of yin yang so it's all about kind of balance and yes! oh look at that. i got two white beard pirates just like that nasty I'm nasty at this game i would love to pull another pops i still have only pulled one pops out of all of these alt art packs and i haven't been particularly good at summoning cards out of here but maybe if i focus my chi it might happen but it's kind of hard to do that while i'm like you know talking and doing all this stuff you gotta just let it flow but anyway basically it's a the practice i do is a daily practice of focusing that's crazy. <laughs> what? Yo, okay. If there's a pops altar in this box, I'm broken. I'm fully broken and that's that's it. That was that was kind of wild. That's kind of nuts. Nuts, nuts, nuts. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. Anyway, um I do a daily practice. It's like 8 minutes where I just do a series of breaths and uh focusing my mind and uh balancing chi along the different meridian channels that you can learn about from traditional Chinese medicine. They're used in acupuncture, but the idea is that you have these channels on the surface of your skin where the chi travels, just like you have a circulatory system or a, um, uh, a bone structure or whatever. There's a, there's a system where the chi flows and, um, if you use, if you practice and learn the anatomy and focus your mind and your breath, you can learn to start to control this stuff. And, and some pretty crazy stuff happens in life when you're tapped into the, uh, tapped into the power of the universe. But what's cool about Qigong is like really every shonen kind of borrows from some sort of ideology like this, where you have some kind of mindfulness practice that allows you to tap into like this type of energy in your body and in one piece i think it would basically be like hockey in dragon ball it's key in naruto it's chakra but they, this is not like a new idea at all or some brand new thing this is something that's existed for a very long time that has existed in many different renditions and you know the human mind is a very uh vast and amazing and interesting piece of I don't know if it's a piece of the thing, but your brain does some pretty crazy stuff. And learning to use your breath um, and control the way that it directs stuff within your body is something that can really have a lot of interesting health benefits. Um, but something you want to be careful of is that you're doing it properly. You don't want to be focusing chi in the wrong directions, in the wrong channels. It can actually create some like physiological problems. So you want to make sure that you have some teaching of it or that you're referring to something that has the proper information and that you're focusing in the right way while you're learning to work with this new part of your body. But one of the really interesting things that I learned about this practice is, you know, 
Um, my whole life I've heard this phrase, seeing is believing, or people saying like, oh, I won't believe it till I see it, but it's really believing is seeing. Like you actually can't really see stuff unless you believe in it. And that's one of the things about chi is that you really can't interact with it if it's not something you actually believe is there. So gaining an understanding, and for me it was, oh, yes! yo, that's a, that's a sick box. I'll take that. I will take that all day. No problem. Yes, that's wild. I needed another ace and I would love to have another Oya G. So that's my two Oya G's and my ace. But yeah, learning to focus this stuff is, is really helpful. And I'll talk about it a little bit more in next week's video. Thank you. Gozaimasu. And I'll see y'all next time.